Hello everyone and welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. This is episode 5. Last time we began a search for Tyr in the mines and we found the tall guy and he's with us now. Um, let's let's escape. Let's proceed. Let's let's get the hell out of here. We've got we got Tyr. He's alive and well. And we're going to see what's uh what's next, I suppose. Uh, it's been a it's been an interesting meeting of two gods of war. Um, we'll just have to see how the rest of this plays out. I'm quite I'm quite curious, actually. Are you okay? These are just much stronger when you're not sitting down. Man's been imprisoned for a while. He doesn't even know what's real anymore. Let me get that. It's the least I can do. Hey, he's strong. Oh. Tall and strong. Atreus, I've done more impressive physical feats than pull down a lift. You shouldn't be impressed by that. I literally flipped the world tree upside down. Why risk Odin's wrath to free me? Well, Ragnarok is coming. I hope you knew that. We thought you'd want to help. You freed me only to start a war? No! Um... Um... So, Tia, it's good to see you in the flesh again. Mimir, what's become of you? Following in your footsteps. Betrayal, indefinite imprisonment, execrable torture at the hands of the Old Father. You didn't deserve such treatment. Did you? I will say my view was a touch better than yours. We found him at the top of a mountain with tree roots wrapped all around him. The only way to free him was to... Well, that. Highly pleasant. For all parties involved. <clears throat> no response. You okay? The light. It's... It's been so long. Just want to interrupt because obviously it's going to continue to play more dialogue. My favorite thing about this is Kratos has been warning Atreus this whole time about this, this thing. It's like with Ragnarok. It's like... Do you want to go to war? Do you want to go to war with Asgard? Is this going to lead you to, you know, is, is what you want to do right now? Like, what if that leads to war? And he's like, I don't want to, I don't want to like lead us to war. I want to do this. And the first thing that comes out of Tia's mouth when Atreus tells him about Ragnarok, he's like, you wanted to free me to start a war? And I like how both Kratos and Tia are all sort of on the same page with that, like immediately, which is cool. And Atreus is like, come on, guys, please. Gods of War, listen to me. There's an outcropping just ahead. The shade will make it easier on your eyes. Come on. Sverd Sand. Is coming. Which means Balder. Balder is dead. Odin sent him to track down a giant in Midgard. And then he found Kratos at... Anyway, I'd promised to take these two to the tallest peak in the realms if they'd chop off my head and convince Freya to bring it back. Amir. Speak of Balder. I was getting to that. <laughs> the full story. Oh, kill this, kill that. No, 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 the, no, no, no. the full recap. It's like Mimir, give him the give him the full give him the full recap. See ya. I like how they come out of the water, but if you throw them back into the water, they die. It's my favorite part. They're like, no, don't send me back. I'd rather die. What you like? Grim sushi, let's go. Chop it in half. That's fine, I'll, I'll just miss. You didn't need that arm. Knock that grim down before it poisons us all! Where is it? Hey. Yes. Come. We must leave before more creatures attack. You should have taken the spear. Defended yourself. No. I have abjured all violence. But... You're the god of war. I left that behind long ago. If Odin starts Ragnarok, you really wouldn't fight? 
Not even if I wish to. I really like him saying he's left it all behind because that's essentially what Kratos had done as well. I really hope that there's some sort of camaraderie between the two here because obviously Tyr has a very different knowledge of Kratos calling him, you know, like God killer because of what we've done in the past. But he might, you know, come to see the journey that, that Kratos has uh, has been on. We've even got similar belts, you know. We've even just got similar belts, similar fashion choice. <laughs> I really like how we look at each other. Like, they actually acknowledge each other and they're standing around instead of it just being, like, one's looking straight. We're just, like, God of War staring contest. Let's go. And you can see that Atreus is looking at both of us. Like, his eyes dart back and forth between... Uh, the pair of us, which is an in incredible detail here. Who who's going to win the staring contest? <laughs> there needs to be a fucking... I can't believe there's not a photo mode in the game at launch. That uh, is just bizarre to me. That is bizarre to me. Almost as bizarre as uh, as what I'm playing and experiencing right now. Like, it's crazy. But yes. Now is not the time to, for a contest of stairs. Boy, get on this raft. I should kick down the door aggressively. Come on, big boy. Get on. Before we go any further, the truth. What is it you want from me? You, you speak of Ragnarok. Is it a god of war you came to find? Is that the tear you need? Atreus. I... Forgive me. That I am grateful for my freedom. But if you want me to follow you to war... Or worse yet, lead you to it... Then kill me now. My fight is gone. Damage is done. No one's killing you, brother. Better that than to live to see Ragnarok. We do not seek war. We just want some answers. I don't know how to help you. It doesn't matter. The Giants trusted you. That's the tear we need. We need you. is for a good night's rest and maybe some food. I think you killed the guards bringing me dinner. <laughs> so he does get fed when he's in right. prison. Perhaps now you'd like to finish the story? Uh, the sons of Thor attacked us. We killed them. Balder tried to kill Freya. I killed him. But you skipped over how he fought and freed the Valkyries. And that the giants are all gone. And now they called me Loki. And finding the shrines. The giants and... are gone. When we got to Jotunheim, they were all dead. Dead. Do you think Odin? We do not know. <laughs> this is such a satisfying I vibration in the controller. A moment too soon. When you pull this chain. Reinforcements from Asgard. The Ain Huryar will want to investigate my disappearance thoroughly. Damn it, he just said the word and I glossed over it. How do he pronounce it? Ain Are they using the sky to travel between realms? Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. Oh. Coming down on neither Valir too. Will the dwarves be okay? That's the fucking cool. Concerns has passed. We must leave now. Look out! Oh, oh no shit! Fucking Heimdall. With the Bifrost. Heimdall! Take us home! Fuck me. I wonder if they had to be like very cautious during the animation process for this to make it not look like Thor's entrances from uh 
from the Marvel movies. They're like, uh, he's summoned by a uh, giant rainbow from the sky, but it's different. <laughs> Um, uh, but it's fucking, that's fucking cool to see though. All right. He's like, we don't want war, but also I have all these weapons and we must fight to survive and I will probably end up killing all of the gods. But I promise you, we don't seek a war. It's not a war if we kill them all first. <laughs> but also we just want to be friends, apparently. It'll be interesting to see how this goes. Oh, dude, we're going to, we're about to have some fucking comedy. We're about to have some fucking comedy. We're taking Tia, um, this tall fella, and we're about to go back to our safe house in the realm between realms, Sindri's safe house, built for dwarves, tinies, tiny folk. This is going to be Gandalf visiting Bag End, but like even more hammed up. <laughs> Of the myths and legends Mimir has unfolded to us, none have so inspired Atreus as the life of Tyr. Once the god of war in these lands, he dedicated himself to peace, a hero not only to mortals of Midgard, but to those of the far-off lands of other pantheons to which he travelled in the name of diplomacy. Even the Jotnar revere him, it is believed his aid is what made the giants disappear, escaping Odin's wrath, at least for a time. I am not certain he will prove as useful to us as Atreus hoped, either as a leader or as a source of information, though perhaps with patience he will recover himself. Most importantly, he seeks neither war nor revenge for the suffering visited upon him. In this, I am grateful. Something I'm very interested about with this is, um, it is true though, we arrived to Jotunheim and all the um, giants were, were dead and it didn't look like they just fucking lied down and all passed away in their sleep. Like it didn't, it looks like a battlefield almost. However, Odin, I don't think is to blame there because... Jotunheim was hidden. There might have been something else there, but I will have to find out if we get answers to that, because as of now, we don't know. We also don't know why Atreus is called, you know, Loki. We know, like, the reasoning for him wanting to be called that, but why is he called that? What did Faye know that she never got to tell us because she kept all of her stinking secrets, you know? Gotta find out. You know, I didn't realize how we were, that we were on a white screen. It's been too long. I had forgotten. Beauty. Tyr, in your travels, did you ever hear the giants talk about Loki? I'm sorry. That name doesn't sound familiar. The giants are... were... a very private people. Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest. I really like Tyr's voice. It's, it's a very soft and gentle uh, voice. A treehouse. Huh? Lord Tyr, you're really alive. Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, uh, of course you did. Can you make the door well, bigger? let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Look at the height uh, difference. We'll be right in. <laughs> the height difference, though. You want to have a chat beforehand? Is that why you're saying we'll be right in, or...? No? Okay. Father? You coming? I guess that's a, a way for us to be like, ah, oh, oh no, never mind. I was like... I was wondering if that was a break between the quests that we could, like, leave and then come back, but yeah. It felt weird that we didn't just walk in automatically. I guess because this will need to... it's gonna load a cutscene or something. So, can we talk? Oh, there you go. What to do next? There you go. There is much to consider. We will speak in the morning. Oh. We will speak okay. in the morning. In the morning. I must speak to my head therapist. You hold still. Huh? Yep. <clears throat> oh, much better. Thank you. Huh. See? Sleep tight, dear. I'm going to turn in. Big day tomorrow. So, Tyr, sounds like promises were made. Let's see about getting you settled, shall we? If you'll follow me. Hey, come see what I got for you. I'm sure we won't be interrupting any goings on. And I'll arrange accommodation. We got a hub world now for all of the special important people we meet along the way. If only Freya wasn't such a butt, she'd be able to help us. Too much space would be unsettled. <laughs> Do you have a room closet? 
A broom closet. <laughs> it's where I keep my brooms. That's, That's where I keep my brooms. To be honest, it's all I can manage. Yeah, he's used to being in a um, tiny spot. Some food then. Oh, nothing much. Perhaps some hardtack. Hardtack. Any sort of humble ship's biscuit will do. I with a pinch of salt. Well, I'll see what I can find. <sighs> Sindri can Perhaps I'll be do able to sleep travel. tonight. Really sleep. The sleep of a free man, without the All Father's eye on me. The fact that, like, the way that I think what the first game did, which was a really good job of doing, must be in the pantry. Something that something that the first game did really well is establishing characters that we don't get to meet until this game, that we never even knew we were going to meet. Um, we've heard so much about Tyr, who he is as a person, all of these tales and legends, and it's like we've also been given sort of the the dialogue of ah. Uh, you don't know if you can ever believe the tales, you know? You don't know how it's going to play out. But we have all of this backstory for him that when we meet him and we actually see what he's gone through and he's at this point, we're actually just like, oh, holy, holy shit. Like, you're instantly, um, you're instantly like super em uh, empathetic towards him, right? You're instantly just like, I, like, we know what this, we know what this guy has gone through because of, uh, the, the first game, we're instantly just like, oh man, like I can, I can really connect with this character immediately instead of not being like, oh yeah, this guy's just showed up and I guess we'll learn more about him as time goes on. Like it's, we already have that, those legends, those myths, that legacy of this character. And we're just like, fuck man, I really feel for this guy that he can just like lie down and probably just have some food and just chill the fuck out. And it's such a, so it's still so bizarre to have storylines like this playing out in a, in a God of War game. <laughs> Sometimes you just go, I'm playing God of War right now. If you got the raw materials to make them. I'm playing God Killer Simulator, but it's just such an emotional trip instead. So that's what's left of Tear, huh? Back where I come from, we'd say he's been through a few things. Hmm. So have we all. Well, ain't you philosophical? Philosophical. Uh, I believe we can upgrade our bleeds of chaos. No, hang on, we've already done that. That was we've already done that. Never mind. We already did the chaos flame. I don't have any stone wood. Um, I've got rawhide to upgrade my furious mole for some more strength. Um, need more slag deposits for me dauntless shield. What about our armor? Uh, we can upgrade this with forged iron. That's pr this is probably what I'm going to do. Is I'll probably be upgrading this stuff. Uh, oh yes, and the gauntlets and the belt have the suit the the set bonuses. So if I upgrade the braces here, damn, am I good or what? Additional movement around the joints um, increases strength. So we've got a finisher damage boost of ten percent. But if we also upgrade the waste, that finisher damage boost will go up to 20%. You won't get so much as a paper cut in that. Nice. Um, and now Dwarven Steel is the next upgrade. So we've got those two, uh, level three, and then our chest armor, we just need five more pieces of forged iron. And we'll be able to upgrade that one as well. But yeah, better to do those for the set bonus, I think. That's cool. Um, Oh, I need that resurrection stone, actually. I will remember to actually craft one. Thank you. And then what can we sell? We can sell a full artifact set. Oh, that's not much hack silver, is it? These will look real nice in my collection. I thought, uh, ah, oh, 400 each. Ah, damn, you've been busy. I thought that was 400 for the whole set then. And I was just like, oh, that's a downgrade, isn't it? <laughs> These are shit. But for you, I'll buy them. I thought they were like, ah, oh, I can press triangle to sell all. Or you can sell all. All right, nice. I may as well upgrade this one as well over here. Five more strength. For our high luck chance to grant a gift of strength. Kill, nice. Upgrades, people. 
Alright. We've dealt with Brock. Tia's waiting for food. Sindri's checking the pantry. Atreus' room is over there. this door open? No, I can't see shit <laughs> in dark areas. You go in here. Boy. Oh, no, wait. Oh, he's already... He's in here, isn't he? Okay, so Atreus is in there, and I'm gonna go have a chat with my therapy head in, in here. I'll plant him on the... on the barrel, and we'll have a conversation. Head. I seek your guidance. Let me vent to you. What are you thinking, brother? I am thinking. I want things to be the way they were. Well, I'd like to climb a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. I just wish Atreus were not so... restless. I care only for your safety. I know, brother. But holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tyr might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His pain is fresh. You expect too much. Aye, perhaps. Pity Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. That is not an option. No. I don't suppose it is. Trouble sleeping. Ah! Shh. You cannot sneak up on me like that. <laughs> There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. He literally just yelled oh, outside just... of an open window. Wasn't sure you'd <laughs> want to join me. I'm visiting... An old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. <gasps> but we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? What the fuck is happening? This is a gameplay angle. <gasps> How about I suggest an alternative? No. Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead. So it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. <laughs> so, you know where Frey is. No, no. I mean, yes, but look. Let's just talk to the snake first, and then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Holy shit. Okay. Playable Atreus. All right, let me just breathe and think about what the fuck's going on. I like how he screamed from an open window. I guess Kratos is going a bit deaf too. It's all of that screaming and uh, from, from enemies. He, he's like, did you hear something, Mimir? Mimir said, no. Didn't hear anything, brother. Must have been the wind. And then that's how we get away. Um, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so Tia didn't know anything, but I just know Freya can help us. Mamiya said it himself. I bet she can be reasoned with. Just got to find wherever she is in Midgard. We literally have him eavesdropping, being like, I just want him to be safe and not so restless. And Mamiya's like, he's going to make some mistakes. And Atreus goes, I'm going to go and... Reason with the woman who wants to murder us because I'm responsible for breaking the curse, curse spell on uh, her son. That's going to go over well. But first, let's go talk to Jormungandir, the world serpent. So I like how they've brought it up as a way to be like, oh, you found him. Because like I said, at the end of the first game, he drops us off at um, uh, at Thamur, the, the giant with uh you know the boulder confrontation and then disappears we don't we don't see we don't see him again so this is really exciting 
Also, playable fucking Atreus. I don't know if this is going to be just sort of like a scripted little gimmick segment. I can't like attack or dodge or do anything like that. I'm not sure what this is going to be. But this also scares me as well. Because there's a similar game. You guys might have heard of it. Uh, it was called The Last of Us. And in that first game, you do play as Ellie for a bit. And then in the second game after that, uh, you, mm, you know where I'm going with this? I have concerns. I am excited to have playable Atreus, but I have concerns of the potential ramifications of what they are setting up. And they could be plant laying seeds of, of uh, you know, laying seeds within us to prepare I ourselves. I Yggdrasil. I seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air, is all. Well, I hope you like your <gasps> cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? I've got a fucking Are spin you move. You joining us this time? Uh, no. I, I meant to tell you. Penrose dead. Oh. Oh. <gasps> As wolves go, he was always very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but why traumatize either of us further? What the fuck? I've got full combat, bitch. I've got light attacks, I got heavy attacks, I got runic attacks. What the fuck? I've got fucking moves. Oh, fuck me, dude. I've got a cool spin move and everything. Now I'm even more concerned. You know what I mean? Where I'm like, the game, they're planting seeds within us. They're preparing us for a certain potential outcome, maybe, where it's like, hey, you liked that segment where you played as Atreus for a bit and then Kratos, you know, you played as Kratos again. And then you're like, oh, that was fun when I played as Atreus. And then later on, you only play as Atreus. <laughs> Don't do it to me, game. Oh, that's just the, the trope that I see immediately. But holy shit, this is so exciting. We don't have a dodge roll. We have a dodge spin. A dodge twirl, if you will. Look, we got fucking combo moves, dude. We got fucking combo moves. Just just look at, look at my man's fancy footwork. Oh, not to mention, sorry, did I just gloss over the fact, magic shield, sorry, I did I just gloss over magic shield, uh, I ain't seen this shit before, Atreus, where you, where you popping this from, man's got magic shield, like what the fuck is that, magic shield, <laughs> okay, I caught a whiff of something awful near the, Look at the hat. tower, remember how to get there, yep, just past the oarsman, Shores of Nine. That's what makes you think Jormungandr's nearby? I know what I smelled. Okay. Well, a lot's kinda happened. And I need answers. Now this confused me at first. Frozen lightning? Yep. And there you go. Yeah. Want a closer look? No. So I was just like, this confused me at first. Uh, because after the exhilarating fight that was Kratos versus Thor, I couldn't think straight. And I think I was running on pure adrenaline and excitement that I was like, what the fuck is that? And it just makes so much sense that obviously, you know, the dwarves made the axe of frost and the hammer of thunder or lightning. And, uh, you know, they're made to be able to contest with one another. Like the dwarves make some good, pretty good shit. And having those two weapons clash and stand up against each other, having Kratos's axe freeze Thor's lightning as like some sort of permanent landmark on the shores of Nine during Ragnarok is fucking metal as hell. So good. Sindri thinks our first stop should be Jormungandir, but I haven't seen him since Fimble Winter started. Hope he's out there somewhere staying warm. Look at that fucking shit though. Like obviously like frozen lightning. So good. Sindri's little run and his little hat is the best thing ever. He runs like a Fall Guys character. And it's beautiful.
Nice, got my flashlight. On me belt. Seen it like oh my god, I'm so excited right now. Like the fact that we've had like it was making those offhanded mentions to Atreus and Sindri doing this stuff before in the search for Tyr, but we actually not only get to see it but play through a sequence like this is amazing. Oh a chest. <laughs> not so easy, huh? Shut up! Oh my god. <laughs> he got big mad. Ah, that's fucking funny. I literally was talking about that like an episode or two ago. I was like, one day you'll be punching through these chests. Today is not that day. Oh, that's fucking spectacular. Um, Remember, you remember in the first game, you know, when Atreus got really pissed off because... Uh, Kratos was in trouble and he did his whole like he almost did like Spartan rage and then he passed out I really wonder if like Atreus has uh, a, a, a version of, of Spartan rage as a power somewhere um, like maybe maybe not like we'll we'll see I suppose so what's been going on Sonic Arrows consume arrow charges I do know that they do uh, oh fuck yeah I didn't think to check the menu and I also need to look through the codex because I think an entry popped up. Well, it might have just been a map update, but I wouldn't be able to know because this game doesn't tell you. It like it this game has the ability to do so because look at this. Like when you have weapons and armor and new stuff, like it has the exclamation marks. Like it's like, hey, look, Atreus bow ability, cool exclamation mark. Check this out. Codex, nah, they don't need to know what they have read and haven't read. We don't have an exclamation mark in this game that we could put on here so they so they know. Um, I, I think it would be... Oh, this is an interesting thing to point out here is because the friend and foe section of the codex is written by Kratos. It is not included in the lore section of the Codex when you play as Atreus, as a result, because it's not his journal. But he has the the bestiary, bestiary, because this is written by Mimir. That's an interesting little detail there, isn't it? I can't read the friend or foe stuff because it's not written by Atreus. So the bow, Atreus's bow made out of a yew tree by Atreus's mother. He's finally grown into it. And our bow ability, Stinging Barrage. So fires a powerful single shot of several arrows at once that collide with heavy impact. And then I guess I can have a look at my XP for my skills. Ooh, okay. Archery and aggression. Aggression, eh? While sprinting, perform a leaping attack. Hold R1 to trip and strike an enemy. Continue holding R1 to deal heavy stun. The fact that we have Atreus skills that are tied to our own player input is really interesting. It's making me wonder if when Kratos comes back into the mix, if we have the ability to switch who we want to play and control as. Like, we could press a button, switch to Atreus, and then Kratos would be the support character. You know, like, if we could do that, and you could simultaneously, like, switch back and forth between Atreus and Kratos, that might just make my day. That would be fucking awesome. Uh, so, while evading, hold L4 and press R1, a shield strike, healing high stun. Uh, jump backwards, shoot a barrage of arrows, that's fucking sick. A powerful heavy attack finisher. Let's have a look at that. Oh, nice. With the arrow. Oh, with the arrows and the twirly move. Atreus has some fucking moves, dude. A vertical attack. Sheesh. Swing the bow for a wide heavy attack. My god. Alright, sonic explosions caused by Atreus and increased area of effect. Enemies afflicted with sonic bigger reverberations. And explosions apply sonic to nearby enemies. Previous skill required. So we've got to do a chain. 
Uh, dive into oh, dive into battle. Press triangle to grapple towards an enemy and strike them with force. Apply status damage of the currently equipped runic arrow. See the currently equipped runic arrow. So that is confirming that it will be able to change different arrows. Okay, I'm gonna get that. Already got those. Draws it. Uh, that's the support stuff, isn't it? Playing as Kratos. I'm gonna get that. And that's all I can get for now. Nice. So, Father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died. But I don't know what he's talking about. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. <laughs> oh no, Hell's Bramble. If only I stole my dad's blades. Good thing it's in an area that I guess... Oh, lift's broken. I'll fix it later. Oh no. It's, yeah, it's the lift. Accidental magic's not all. I sort of turned into a bear. A bear? Including the slobber? Yeah. <laughs> but I lost control. Frey knows magic better than anyone. She could help me. But not giant magic. Fine. We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. <laughs> it's venomous? Is it? Can I open this? Am I strong enough? Atreus got strength. Yeah, come on, you got it. <laughs> like, can I open this shit? <laughs> okay, yeah. He getting there. He just needs a few more hits uh, to open those wooden chests, that's all. Dude, I remember going through this area. It's so cool to see, like, where we used to travel through, you know? <gasps> Big old jump. Oh. 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 Go for it. We got unlimited of these arrows, and then I don't even know why I just assumed that. I guess when, when my brain, when I think of shooting, like bows or guns or anything i always just go for the trigger automatically like the r2 button so i instinctively was just like oh yeah i get three shots for my arrows i did not even think to press r1 to shoot unlimited standard arrows that does make quite a lot of sense look at my grappling arrow bitch sindri look at this sindri sindri look at my grappling arrow poke you in the butt with it <laughs> Um, with the other, I didn't pay attention to the other it's drop. Soundstone on it too. I didn't pay attention to where the second thing dropped. Oh, hang on, there, on the floor. All right. Fine. Yes. Feels good, right? It's great, Sindri. Yes, but who's putting that there? <gasps> Who's putting sonic things on barrels, and why? We're blocked. How'd the Arm of Tear statue end up here? Find a way through, and I'll tell you. I'm on it. Huh. Looks dwarven. What looks dwarven? Jaffa! It is soundstone, but the path's still blocked. And I don't see any more on this side. Hold on. Let me look around. Maybe mm. a different angle. No way I'm lifting that. <laughs> Maybe with some help? Well, don't look at me. Who knows where it's been? Uh, fucking alright then. That's fine. <gasps> it's Gaffa. So, Tyr's arm. Your father owed Thor a blood payment, and, well, he got it. Wow, great story. <laughs> anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled bear rampage? Beats me. Oh shit, combat time. We've got company. Got my back? No. They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching. Who said you need to touch them? I like the way you think. 
Okay, here goes nothing! That's some quality craftsmanship! Bruh. You think this stuff throws a little help would be nice. Uh, okay, right. I'll just... Take this, you dirty power rock! Press square to command Sindri to attack. Harsh words. Not sure he'll recover. Shut up. Do you want my help or not? <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, <laughs> explosive pumpkin. Man's got an explosive pumpkin. He's got shit. Oh, that wasn't an execution. I mean, that was close to it. Let me get it. I want to get an execution in here. Nice, there is an execution. Cool. Throw whatever that is. <laughs> this is so good. Oh yes, throw the pumpkin. Go. He dodged the pumpkin. I hate him. Thanks for sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. Where's that, uh, where's that Sindri XP? What is going on there? This is new. What is that? Oh, nice. Just the one bow attack this time. Okay. I'll take it. I think the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? <laughs> if I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? <sighs> oh, okay. Out of the Mary Poppins bag. Great. There. Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. Keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. Njormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I <laughs> conveniently scrub that from my memory. Well, we're here. He's only eaten me once. And what a visit that was. Told you well, he's gone. We gotta call him. Well, have you tried calling him? Yeah. Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you The eyes, dude. That's not weird at all. <laughs> the eyes? Sindri's like, uh, what the fuck? He was just napping under the ice. <laughs> Who dares disturb my slumber? <laughs> Yom and Ganda taking a bit of a peek at the frozen lightning, being like, bruh, what happened? 
What happened while I was asleep, brother? Needs more base boost. Anything? Good talk. <laughs> Ironwood. Iron. What do you think it means? It means we should have stayed home. <laughs> Let's head back. I'm covered in snake saliva. God damn it. Ironwood. Okay. Is that him over there? You go back to sleep over there? Ah. Ah, see? I wasn't crazy. The friends and foes thing's missing. And now it's in here. And there's only one. We haven't seen Jormungandir since Fimble Winter began. I was beginning to think he'd left the Lake of Nine somehow, but Sindri's nose was right. The World Serpent woke up when I called, when I asked him about Loki and what I should do. All he had to say was, uh, Yavana. Not helpful. No idea what Ironwood means, but it was still nice to see him again. So I guess this is confirming it's the, the same. It is the same World Serpent from the first game, because we were questioning how the fuck it's going to work. Like... Does Jormungandir get thrown back into time constantly as the same one and he just gets older and older each time he gets thrown back into time in the Ragnarok time loop? Because we're going to have to see Jormungandir and Thor fight at some point and then he gets thrown back in time. And the only reason I mention these things at this point in like the game is because technically these things are not spoilers because they are story beats directly given to us and fed to us from Mimir during the point, you know, during the, the story of the original game. So this is information that we already have on the table. There's a lot of Ragnarok drops from that first game of, holy fuck, like, we know about these things that are, are going to happen. How the fuck is it going to happen, you know what I mean? Also, look at him. He's underneath the ice. <laughs> He's underneath the ice. Yeah, it's a question that I would love to, uh, that I can't wait to get the answer to. Is like, what is there two Yorman Gundias at, at some point? Does does Atreus, aka Loki, birth one with the mural that we saw at the end, where all the snakes are like, like it seems like there's like birthing stuff out of his mouth, and could it be like a snake? I don't know. It's the thing with murals is we, we never know what it's gonna be like. Hey, I feel like we're gonna just snap our bow at this point, but that's fine. Go for it. Go for your life. Would you just let me do it? Angry boy. Alright. I'll let you do it then. So what was your plan anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she the is... The Valkyrie Council yeah, Circle? Exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, the Don't Valkyrie cursed. Council. He's unbearable when he's smug. So we, we do get that information as well from the first game is once you beat all of the Valkyries, including Sigrun. Sigrun is like, yeah, Freya was the actual uh, Valkyrie queen, just by the way. 
But we we freed all of the Valkyries in the first game, so now I'm going to be really curious about what this is going to be like, having Freya chilling out, camping out in the Valkyrie High Council. Because I wonder how her um, turtle turtle friend, turtle house friend, is doing in the winter. Probably not so. Probably not so good. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. Not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely huh. right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. Oh. So the Valkyrie High Council, huh? And then we have to fight uh, Sigrun and the Valkyries again, but uh, with Atreus and, and Sindri <laughs> instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I meant to shoot directly above that to drop it down on the ground, not, um... Ooh, yeah. Give me a second. Satisfying combat with, with Atreus, though. I rate it. Positive review. Good combat. Feels nice. Well, that's quite enough excitement for one day. No way. We're so close. <laughs> oh, dear. Maybe this is a sign. You gonna stay here? Okay, baby, I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. <laughs> this time. Hi. Fine. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet Bessel, I wish it did. <laughs> See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again if that's what you're asking. <sighs> you gonna stay here? My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this yeah. is as far as I go. And you was gonna stay here. Stay and fix this. Suit yourself. I love his bag of infinite space. It's so good. And then he's gonna set up shop. Ah. Got some markings here. Oh, music. That music kicking in when Jormungandir wakes up was awesome. I don't think I can break this. I need to find another way around. Mm. You sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. I'm stressed about how this encounter is going to go. I'm almost expecting there to be like a scene where Kratos is uh, is where Kratos is tracking us right now. Sweet. Oh, he said sweet. I'm almost expecting like a scene where like. Kratos has been like talking to Mimir and he's like, maybe I should go talk to Atreus, tuck him in before bed, you know, read him a bedtime story, tell him about my old Sparta stories. And then he's like, Atreus, where are you? And then we go and hunt him down. This is a good idea. And he has like a surprise entrance. Rock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing, and we're out of options. Living! Living is an option! <laughs> so we're gonna have, uh, we'll have Kratos come in at the last minute when things look dire and Freya's about to drive a sword through Atreus's chest or something, and Kratos will come in and be like, Woman! Enough! We are not your enemy! And Brock will be there as well to chase after Sindri and be like, There you are, your old scoot! What are you doing sneaking out with a boy like that? Oh, it was scared me fucking nipples off. Okay. That's exactly how the scene's gonna play out. <laughs> as long as I go up and forward, 
I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. That is my prediction. We're going to get in some big ass trouble. Kratos and Brock are going to rock up. And stuff will happen. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Oh, actually, can I get an angle of an explosive from up here? Nope. First, we're going to have to explore big area and... Oh, that was weird. For a second there, I had like this brief moment of being like a uh, stealth takedown, question mark. But no, turned around. See ya. Gilpa! Dude, these the trays got fucking moves, dog. All right, more soundstone. Not what I was looking for, but fine. Oh. that oh. <gasps> nice that sh fucking shield smack is great just interrupt that move completely <clears throat> we're seeing hints of the boys strength man if father could see me now he would lose it. Absolutely. You are correct. I wouldn't have to hide things if he'd just trust me. How can I trust you if you lie? I was literally just about to say that. That's a good point. Yeah, <laughs> I was literally just about to say that. I'm like, bruh, he doesn't trust you because you lie. <laughs> when he talks to himself in his father's voice and goes, oh. Listen to me. Could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? Uh, we love the fake arguments you have with people close to you that you need to, like, try and win in your head, but sometimes you might not win. He's having the, he's having the internal fake argument. Hey, hey, hey. I'm shooting here. I'm still doing my spin move over here. I don't have the ability to throw projectiles back, unfortunately. That's a shame. Hey. Get soniced. Love that slam. Kick you in the face. Oops. So I'll just do this. Oh, hang on. Fucking could have done that the whole time. Could have just brought him down. Oh, we... Dude, we have we have dive shooting. So I don't have a dodge roll, but I've got a fucking dolphin dive. Let's go. Can we do it forwards? And backwards? Oh, look at the range of movement I got on this shit. I mean, it's not accurate, but it's fun. Look at this <laughs> Why is this combat so, and movement so satisfying? You just know that you, you just know that they were having the worst time developing this and being like, "How the fuck are we gonna make this fun?" Because playing as Atreus is going to be probably either super exciting for people or super nerve wracking. Because they'll be like, "Fuck, man, we have to make it exciting, and we have to make the gameplay good. Otherwise, people are gonna hate it." You can just imagine the amount of pressure in play in making playable Atreus, you know? Why don't you trust her? Why won't you tell me? And I'm I'm glad they nailed it. So far, looking really, really good. And then there's there's still more surprises to uh <laughs> to to figure out too. Like 
Like, do we get a dodge? We got one of these. Yeah. <laughs> this is how I navigate my environment. This isn't how you guys get around? I fucking love it. Oh, just gotta go back here. I'll just go back real quick. Oh, I gotta go off to the left. We'll just go this way. Off to the left. No, not nightmares. Not stinky nightmares. Oh, I want to do an execution move on a nightmare. Um, never mind. I will do an execution move on a nightmare. We'll see, see how Atreus does it. I thought there was something else here before I moved on. I was getting too excited. Hang on. Sorry. <gasps> thought there was a secret in here. I just had to dive in. <gasps> Yo. Dolphin dive after it. Let's go. It's going to be a fucking illusion. It's a trick. We're being lured here. See? It's already dead. Already did. It was, a, it was a trick of the trick of Freya. Stealth arrows. Yeah, fucking spanked me. Spank you with me, fucking bow. Hello, Yorman Gandhi. Let's get his attention. Oh, I was expecting the arrow to have a drop. Not magic arrows. I'll just poke him. So if we we can charge up the arrows for like the yellow stun move from the original, we don't have the light arrows anymore. Guess I'm going the right way. Really wish I had a compass. It's there, isn't it? That's the that's the High Council. I see a tent. Damn. Freya be, uh... Freya be camping. Uh, nightmares! Yep. She's in the rough. Okay. Not a unique, like, animation or anything. Just, like, the same kick him in the face move. Treyas just do be bringing them kicks to the table. Times the charm. Jump up. Boop. Ah, oh, well, fucking. Okay. Jump up. Get Sonic. Sonic. Bitch. By a fucking teenage boy, bro. Let's go. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Gaffer. Oh, you. Hello, Yoman Gandhi. Wake up. Sonic reverberations through your, uh... 
You see the Yeoman got these scales. I got this, right? Yeah, I got this. Oh, I'm in combat because there's an enemy. Right. Ultra spin move, bitch. Yeah, you thought you thought you could do a cool shield thing. I'm the only guy with a cool shield thing. Just need to look out for that big door. <laughs> that fucking spin is too smooth. No, 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 no. It's so quick. Aren't you getting dizzy there, boy? I'm obsessed with it. Now, where's my fucking ability to turn into a bear? That's right. Atreus combat. When can I transform into a wolf or a bear or a fucking monkey? Where's my abilities? When can I transform? That's what I want to know. All I got is dolphin divings. When can I transform into a dolphin? I wish to transform into a snake. Is that you up there? And then I will bite Thor. Haha. <laughs> I made a Ragnarok joke. During Ragnarok. Hello down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes. I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. <laughs> you do have doubts. Oh, I have to. <laughs> like you never do? Better than having regrets. I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too. Okay. Yep, that's the door. <laughs> Just be sure to scream if she starts killing you. Thanks. <laughs> I feel so much better now. <sighs> Okay. I'm always expecting her to not be home at this point. But I don't think this is going to go down well. Last time we were here, there was a lot of pain and suffering involved. Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? Hmm. Because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah. I should probably avoid mentioning that. So yes. Why am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh... I'm so dead. It's dark. Just, uh, just tuck it in your shirt and... You didn't even bring a gift or an offering of some kind. Bring some, bring some flowers, you know? Not mistletoe, though. Here goes nothing. Oh, the blue flame because it's the oh fuck yeah, blue flame campfire because it's the hottest flame. Let's go. That's great. She be cold as fuck. She's like, I'm gonna have the hottest campfire you've ever seen. If I'm gonna be living in the trenches like this, if I'm gonna be living like shit, pure sad mom hours, I'm gonna make sure I got a fucking good fire. <laughs> The fact that she ain't even got her, her security alarms ain't even gone off yet. Surely she got as that surveillance that deer was hers, hundred percent. That was like her surveillance deer. Like she got a Treyas on trail cam footage, hundred percent. Freya, you should have she, stayed with Sindri. Yeah, she got a, she got a Treyas on trail cam footage, hundred percent. Stop, your father. Where is he? Not here. He sent you. No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this! Oh...
You would stake your life on it. <clears throat> what do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? If you mean to plead for your father, <clears throat> save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin. <clears throat> Nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. I am a tiny giant. We learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The Giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I, I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin, somehow. But since all the Giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then he's already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. But we found here. Oh, that's, uh, that's big info to spill. Spoke to him. Here is alive? Yeah. We, we broke him out of Sword of Farm. Impossible! The Nine Realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. Can we but make her go to Vanaheim? Together. Enough. Enough! We could get her to go to Vanaheim. If, uh, if this travel is different. Leave this place. Go and do not return. Wow. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. I know that she's cursed to remain in uh, in Midgard. As per Odin, she gets sucked back in, but that might only be travel via the World Tree, via Yggdrasil, how it was before. It might be different with the Realm Between Realms, um, with the with the realm between realms door and the, the new the new way the new path that we've uh, acquired and if we could offer freya a chance to visit a holiday destination of vanaheim where she came from who knows maybe she might just be like ah you guys ain't so bad after all that was a very tense encounter though but atreus didn't hold back he was very open and honest and he was like hey so here's all of the information some of it Maybe not a good idea to spill, but here's all of it. And you're going to give me nothing except telling me to leave. You give me my life. That's mercy. Our chat wasn't all I hoped for, but it actually could have gone much worse. At least now I know she doesn't want to kill me. Not really. She seemed interested to learn about Odin visiting and Tyr being alive, and me being the last giant, and especially about realm travel being unlocked. Really not sure what she's going to do next, but hopefully it won't be using all the information I just gave her to attack us again. Yeah, I really didn't think this through. <laughs> And then she goes, I'm going to put up my big wall. But yeah, as soon as like we were walking in, I'm like, there's no way Freya didn't already clock us like so long ago on our journey, you know? So she's just camping out in the Council of, Council of Valkyrie. She's just, she just chilling with her, with her blue flame, reminiscing on her, her glory Valkyrie days, you know? <laughs> reminiscing. <laughs> Nice, we can get the chest open. 
And we have a sonic aftershock accessory, scraps of metal from Tia's temple fused with soundstone, echoing the warrior's spirit. Ah, we have, so we have three accessories. So melee attacks uh, against an enemy afflicted with sonic deal bonus stun. Not bad. Not bad, mate. Wonderful. With that being all said and done, and that encounter that we've just had with Freya, some great story stuff this episode. We're going to bring this one to a close. Thank you so much for joining me for a really unexpected chapter in Ragnarok of playable Atreus. And not only is it like new and exciting, but also very well implemented and executed. Very enjoyable. Really liked it. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of God of War Ragnarok, and I will see you next time.